Hi guys, welcome back to this channel. It's Max from the Max Creation. Remember, if it's your first time to come across this channel, I keep on letting you know. Please support this channel by subscribing and putting a notification bell. You tap it, then you'll always be uploaded whenever I upload a new video. In today's video, we want us to talk about something new, and uh, it's all about changing jobs. You know, we've talked about changing jobs for several times, and I think it's still something that keeps on dazzling people uh, especially those that wish to change the jobs from one job to another but there's something that i really i want to let you know there's something that really we need to clarify we need to know oh because remember we all need to give ourselves advice in one way or the other first of all something that really i need to talk about when we are coming some of us or some of you when you're coming to this gulf country or you're coming to Qatar. You, you, you get a chance to get what you call a work sponsorship. A work sponsorship, you are under someone. Meaning, you got a ticket, you got a visa, you go for medical, you will get transportation and you get accommodation. Yes, that is true. Depending on which kind of contract you definitely have with that company, that is true. Yes, we do get that. We sometimes we may have unlimited contract or we have a limited contract. You may have a contract of two years, or you may have a contract of what you call five years, which is unlimited. Yes, you get finish up that contract. You get finish up that contract of two years. Yes, definitely. That is someone's goal, or that would be my goal too, at one way or the other. But again, there is this situation where you feel that now you are done with that contract, and you need to change from one job to another. Yes, that is where the question comes in. That is where the drowsiness or the stress comes in. How does it the stress comes in? Is that you definitely, you don't know where to change. You don't know where to go and where, how to start. Yes, in today's video, let us try to see. Let us try to share out the advice. I know you will get in the comment section. Also, you will give me what you think or what is your say. By commenting in the comment section, you never know. We need to share out and reveal ourselves. Yes, but my piece of advice will be, if you are going to change from one job, from the current job to another job, yes, one thing that I would advise you, first identify the job. Identify that job that you are going to change to. Then two, identify the company that you are going to do. Not every company that you think I'm going to change from one company to another company. You may change through this camp from this company thinking it's a bad company and you go to that new company which may be a little bit worse than where you came from. Right? You are thinking your family is bad but you go to another family which is even more worse. That is what happens with the changing jobs. So identify the company, identify where you are going to change, which kind of work you want to change to. It is going to help you so much, such that you do not have the regrets in one way or the other. So when you finally identify, then you probably you can know the job requirements of that position that you want. Yes, we know the job requirements or we think of asking or finding out the job requirements. But remember, when you are changing to this new job, my advice will be change to something that you think you wholeheartedly want to do. Don't change to something because of one bandwagon. Don't change to something because I saw my friends changing to this job. I think I should also change to this job. No. Change to something that you feel you are going to do wholeheartedly with your heart and you think something that you have a passion to but not forgetting at one moment of time because sometimes we think of what you call changing and changing from one job to another. We are not forgetting what we call the non-competing clause in changing jobs. We have what you call a non-competing clause. What you call a non-competing clause is that you do not change to another business that is in the same line with your former business. That is why some of some of these some of these uh, requests to change in the Ministry of Labour are being rejected. 
Yes, you are from a security company, but you want to join another security company. Of course, definitely. Even if they are sending a message to your former employer, alerting him, you, of changing from his company to a new company, and he realizes that you are changing to another competing uh, business, he's going to abscond, he's going to reject. He's going to reject. So those are some of the things, that's some of the reasons why. So definitely think of something that is far away beyond the, the current work that you are doing, such that you can be approved very fast by the Ministry of Labor. Then something still you need to identify is the pay. If, for example, you've been in a security company and you've been paid or you've been earning 1,500 as your salary, end of month salary, that's what we should call it, end of battery salary. Then look for something that is going to give you more than 1,500. That calls for the cause for change. But don't, don't move from a security company or from a cleaning company or from any delivery company. And you are going to a business, uh, to, are going to a job that is going to earn you less than what you are receiving at your earning from your former company. Of course, definitely, that one does not call for change. The ministry describes that as other things that may be attached, so they will definitely have to reject. Your, they will definitely have to reject your request, and even your employer will have to request your reject. Uh, your, your, they'll have to request to turn you down. That's why you'll find yourself you have to wait for that long. So meaning that you need you need to prove out yourself otherwise to accept your your request to change from one company to another. So definitely taking into that in consideration will just help you to make a right decision, will make you get that right decision as you are planning to change the job. Or as you are planning to change the jobs in, the, uh, in, um, in Qatar. And definitely this will just give you an alternative or it will give you a bigger space for you to choose widely get the opportunities, you know, arrange the opportunities and choose out the best opportunity for you. Hope I've tried to share up something for you. Thank you so much for coming back to this channel and thank you so much for the support. Remember, it's Max from the Max Creation. By the way, if it's your first time, don't forget to click on that notification bell because it was very important to update you whenever we upload a new video. Thank you so much. See you again.